Hi, Pastor Ben Engelson of Resurrection Lutheran Church in Shanahan. Uh, it's good to be with you again, just continuing our conversation about living in the coronavirus winter and this crisis we find ourselves in. Uh, and I wanted to share with you a podcast that my wife shared with me. Uh, it's by Brene Brown. It's her podcast series called Unlocking Ourselves. And I'll post the actual podcast in the comment section below and I'll commend that to you. But uh, basically, one of the things she observes, and just as I know, Brene Brown is a professor, she's a researcher, writer, author, speaker, um, all that good stuff. And she often has a lot of wisdom that she shares. And so I appreciated this podcast. And one of the things she observed is like, we've collectively hit weary. And um, one of the things I found helpful is that she noted when we find ourselves in a crisis, which certainly this coronavirus pandemic has put us and the whole world in crisis mode, but that when we find ourselves in a crisis, our bodies boost adrenaline, right? It's just what we're, what we're biologically hardwired, created to do. And so when we find ourselves in a cri crisis, our body boosts adrenaline. It's the fight or flight uh, scenario that we all go through and we're either gonna run like heck or we're gonna fight like heck. But this boost of adrenaline uh, surges us. And in these boosts of adrenaline, we might feel Creative, we might feel empowered, we might feel emboldened, we might find ourselves saying, yeah, I've got this, or we've got this. But then when the adrenaline wears off, that surge wears off, and then we can find ourselves feeling low. Now, oftentimes that can be enough to get us through a crisis, but in this case, in the coronavirus pandemic, the crisis is ongoing. So even though we've had this boost of adrenaline, when it comes back down, when we come back down, the crisis is still present. It hasn't ended. It didn't get us through the crisis. And so perhaps you're finding yourself going with these surges of highs and lows with each day or maybe at different times during the week. And so my wife and I just found it helpful to to um, say, yeah, that that's just a normal thing that we're going through. This is what our bodies do and perhaps explain some of why, you know, on one moment during your home, you know, stay at home uh, order, and you're working with the kids on school, you might feel creative. You might be coming up with activities to do. You might be the one cheering everybody on, saying, we've got this, we can do this. And then how moments later or the next day, you might feel completely wiped out, worn out, exhausted, or unsure what to do next. Uh, so I commend this podcast to you because she goes into a little bit more depth about these adrenaline surges. But I found it helpful just to kind of be like, yeah, that makes sense. And then she goes into strategies, strategies for things we can do as individuals. And she spends a lot of time talking about like the family unit or couples, relationships, uh, what we can do to also get us through a crisis that's not an over and done with crisis, but a sustained one. Because all of these ups and downs of the adrenaline surges, like after a while, if we keep going up and down, up and down, that really takes a toll. So uh, we might be finding that it's time to develop some strategies that are gonna sustain us so the highs aren't so high and the lows aren't so low. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you because I feel like, at least for myself, if we can normalize some of these things, maybe give some reason behind why we're experiencing these ups and downs, um, it also helps us to remove some of the judgment we might also be placing upon ourselves, especially the judgment we might be placing on ourselves when we're in one of those low moments when our adrenaline has worn off and we're feeling exhausted. Like, that's just what our bodies do. That's what, what happens. Uh, and once we can kind of remove some of the judgment from that, we also can uh, free ourselves to come up with some strategies for how we'll get through this sustained crisis. Um, I also want to give you a word of scripture. This comes from Romans chapter 12, um, verses 9 through like 18 here. Paul writes, Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not lag in zeal. Be ardent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in suffering persevere in prayer. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. And do not claim to be wiser than you are. 
refer people to podcasts, right? Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. And if it is possible, so far as it depends upon you, live peaceably with all. Let's close with prayer. Loving God, we thank you that you walk with us every step of the way. We thank you that you give us the gift of your Son and your Holy Spirit to sustain us, to give us hope when we need it. We thank you that you've biologically hardwired and created us for these adrenaline surges to survive. And we also thank you that you give us friends and uh, family who have wisdom that can uh, coach us through these adrenaline surges. We pray that you help us to come up with some strategies and to uh, be a source of support to one another as we go through this crisis. We continue praying for everyone who is sick and infected. We pray for doctors, nurses, uh, first responders who are receiving, oftentimes the the first ones receiving those who are sick. We pray for their their protection. We also uh, pray for the care that they're able to provide. We pray for their energy too, um, as they've been working around the clock to protect all of us. We pray for the scientists and researchers who are frantically and uh, working to develop uh, cures and ideas and strategies that can reduce the effect of this virus. We pray for wisdom for our leaders who are also trying to guide us through this. Uh, and we pray just collectively as people, you can inspire us and help us to be creative and find ways to chip in so that we all get through this crisis together and come through stronger. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Thank you.